SMT Nation, we back. Nation, Verizon, they did it up. Uh, they really did a phenomenal job of supporting their customers for the whole Super Bowl experience. And during the big game, uh, they did not disappoint. A truly incredible networking feat as they prepared the network for usage. Hey, you know, when it comes to, you know, these types of venues, when it comes to the big games, I think Verizon is the golden standard. Not to say that, you know, T-Mobile and AT&T didn't do enough. It, it seems like they did for the most part. Uh, but this is the reason why you have this partnership with the NFL, and that's what Verizon did here. All right, let's talk about it. Let's see everything they did to prepare the network, how it performed, and the customer experience it provided. Link for the press release from the Verizon News Center I'll put for you guys in the description down below. Uh, if you want to help out our channel, you can do that by liking and sharing this video. And there are ways to directly support us. They're all found in the description. Big salute to all the SMT Nation, the YouTube members, and the Patreon supporters for making content on this channel possible. All right, Verizon customers used an astronomical 52 terabytes of data in and around Allegiant Stadium for Super Bowl. All right, that is a pretty major amount of usage. And here is the command center that Verizon has on premise for this game. All right, Legion Stadium it is. All right, game day facts. So we got 52.34 terabytes of data in and around the stadium, the equivalent of playing HD video continuously for 3.3 years. Data usage for Verizon customers up over 9% compared to last year's Super Bowl, where customers used 47.8 terabits, uh, terabytes, excuse me. And, you know, it goes to show you that the continued usage of customers doing more with their devices, even at games. All right, peak download speed, 4.4 gigs per second. Upload speed exceeding 670 megabits. Medians at 2.7 gigs. And upload speed median at 138 meg. Truly impressive stuff there. Verizon users experience 3.x faster download speeds and 3.1x faster uploads than the competition. So whatever AT&T and T-Mobile are doing, uh, Verizon was just way faster. 50, almost, well, I guess it rounds up to 51% of the attendees of the game using the Verizon network. Biggest spikes came during the kickoff and the halftime show. That's usually where, you know, people like to share, you know, their experiences, upload uh, their videos like TikTok and Snapchat and Instagram and such. 70% of customers using 5G ultra wideband up 63% last year. Okay, so that... You know, people getting, you know, more modern phones, right? That do millimeter wave, that do the C-band and stuff like that. Uh, let me just go ahead and increase the size of the text for you guys so you can see it if you want to read it. 65 engineers were staffed to run the command center. You guys see the dedication they gave to this event? All right. Uh, some more um, info here. It says, over the course of the season, total average mobile network usage across all NFL stadiums was... 101 MBs per person, up 47% from the season prior. So a lot of folks are saying, you know, why the hell do I need network connectivity during events like this and during games? People share their experiences. People are live streaming their experiences. They're not missing the game, right? They're, they're, they're engaged in the game. They are fully immersed in the, in the experience, but they're sharing it with their loved ones, with their followers, their subscribers, their viewers, you know, of their content. That's what this is really all about. So 160 megahertz of C-band was provided all up in there. 250 5G millimeter wave radios. That is an insane amount of numbers. That explains why they had such incredible throughput. And the median download speed was over 2 gigs per second or whatever. Uh, they were able to support all the tourists. They were able to support all the action in and around the stadium there. Uh, they've got the whole Vegas Strip, Fremont Street, Allegiance team all hooked up with everything, uh, including the airports. And, you know, Verizon, this is what they do, people. They they do the basically the impossible. Um, what you're seeing here and how they do this, I don't, I don't know if you guys caught this here within it. I think it was in this paragraph, 547 miles of fiber. Do you, do you see what it takes to do this? 250 millimeter wave nodes. DAS systems, CRAN, small cells, macros in the area, like millimeter wave. It, This is what it takes to do this. Now, like I said in the very beginning, 
I'm not saying T-Mobile wasn't able to support their customers. I'm sure they did just fine. I didn't see anybody complaining about it, you know, anywhere. But uh, this is what the type of thing it takes. And, and, you know, as long as the other carriers hold up, then it's not going to be an issue. But if there are situations where AT&T and T-Mobile are not careful, they could churn customers to Verizon if they have poor experiences at, at events like this. That's kind of what I, I think Verizon is doing here. They use this as, obviously, advertising opportunities. This is part of their branding now, right? Network excellence, having the most capacitive network at these major venues. Uh, but really, also, they get to showcase what they can do, and then customers see it, hear about it, know about it. They might even switch to it, all right? Just some things to consider. What do you guys think of the performance from Verizon? What do you think of that dedication to that networking? Sound off in the comment section below. Well, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.